McHenry. Mar yeah, Mar Mar McHenry here. And uh, Mar, you live just about four miles from here. Yes. Uh, you've been inside the bowling alley before. Yes. Uh, talk about the, 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 the lay of the bowling alley here. What, you what? walk in, you got the pins to the right, you got the little shoe thing to the left, a little deli area, get the food, and that's it, it's pretty open. Yeah. Your thoughts when you found out, you found out uh, later on, uh, you know, yesterday evening, or even early this morning. I'm still uh, in it. shock. I can't even believe that somebody would do this in Maine. Like, we leave our doors open here. Very scary. The fact that uh, you were struck, the fact that there's so many young people in there, and, and this was picked as, as obviously a target yeah. uh, with so many young people inside the building, it's hard to explain. You can't explain it. No one does. Who does this? Like, I'm surprised that man is still alive, to be honest with you. I can't believe he got out and he's, got, he's this long not being caught. Scary. Yeah. And uh, I have to wonder, who, who do I know? I mean, all these people that are deceased, this is a very small community. You know everybody. We're talking 30,000 people in Lewiston. You know everybody. You grow up here, you go to school, you know everybody. Would have been a popular place even on uh, even on even on maybe a Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. See, I think on Wednesdays I'm not sure, but I think it's the league night for the teenagers where they have the little bowling leagues. But I'm not sure. Don't mark me on that. But all the kids hang out here. Yeah. What's going through your mind? How are you feeling about all of this right now? I don't even know how to feel. I think I'm honestly still in shock. Yeah. All right, Mar McHenry, thanks so much. Thank I appreciate you. Be safe, guys. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it.